Hi everybody, this is Boris Lossberg. Welcome to our BK Forex Daily Technicals for 4-1-2013. Uh, Dollar Yen definitely starting to get hammered as uh, the Easter holiday begins to dissipate. Past performance not indicative of future results. Trading Forex carries high level of risk may not be suitable for all investors. High degree of leverage can work against you as well as for you. Before deciding to trade any such leverage products as you should carefully consider your investment objectives, level of experience and risk appetite. Possibility exists that you can sustain a loss of some of your initial investment. And therefore, you should not invest money you cannot afford to lose. You should be aware of all the risks associated with trading or margin and seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any doubts. The information including commentary trade ideas provided with VK Forex.com should not be relied upon as a substitute since been done research, but should be informed for making investment decisions. VK Forex LLC and Comma merely providing this information for your general information. Information opinions presented here do not take into account any particular individual investment objectives, or situation, or needs. All investors should obtain advice based upon their unique situation before making investment decisions. They should tailor their trade size and leverage according to their personal risk appetite. We're not responsible for any loss incurred in investments made by readers and clients as a result of any information contained here and do not render investment legal tax or other professional advice and if such advice is needed, please seek um, competence of a professional advisor. Well, as we open up the uh, European session, dollar yen is really getting hammered into the um, a break of the Easter holidays. You can see this is the Easter holiday here. We have uh, basically just fallen all the way down to 93.52, which is a key level of support here if we go back on our dailies. That we've been talking uh, about for a while. You can see this was the level of support here that we tested, came back up, and tried to uh, tried to uh, bounce off of. But as the last several days came came uh, about, I've been noting the fact that we had a very very hard time breaking the upside. 9500 was just been uh, a very very um, strong resistance level, and so we started to come back down. Today's uh, data was sort of um, mixed out of China. Gave it a little bit of impetus. Nikkei dropped at two two percent. I in very thin tra trading conditions, we're certainly testing this 93.50 level as a key support level. Now, if 93.50 is given with with um, conviction, that is, you know, we start basically breaking down into the 93.25s, we kind of uh, break through this the support level here. Um, it's very probable that we can unwind all the way out to possibly the uh, the lows that we set a couple of um, basically a month and a half ago during that big liquidation move all the way down to 91.50, which is the exact opposite of what I think everybody is thinking because everybody was convinced that dollar yen was just a one-way ride up. But here, you basically what you see is a big distribution top with potential of a test of the near-term support here that could break to the downside. We hold, um, we have a potential here for further consolidation and perhaps maybe uh, a rebuild as the week goes by. But a breakdown here to the, you know to the downside, I think is quite negative. Obviously, everybody's sitting up in front of the BOJ meeting, which is going to be Thursday, um, excuse me, Wednesday night into Thursday. Um, and uh, if that becomes a disappointment in the sense that if they don't produce um, a greater amount of QE, that could really trigger a very very sharp decline, as um, a huge part of this move has been factored on the assumption that the, the BOJ is going to be very very liquid going forward. So that's the biggest story of the day today. This this 9350 test right now as we're um, as we're watching it, it may hold, um, at which at which point we could still have a little bit more consolidation into the day. But a break here is pretty important as a as a key level of support um, that quickly bounced back just a few days ago and now maybe probed all the way down to the downside. We're watching that very carefully as the night progresses. Euro also a little bit weaker as the uh, week starts out, we don't have um, any uh, trading in Europe, so not much to, to go on. It's, it's very, very thin markets. Again, today is uh, going to be kind of a half day until North America comes online. Um, we did test the 2770s today. What's interesting here is this 2750 continues to fall just as uh, um, just as there's tremendous amount of negative news. It is still not penetrable, and that to me is a critical support level. As a matter of fact, the longer this holds, um, of course, the greater it builds the uh, the case for a possible move to the upside, perhaps into the 29s, into the 30s. Sorry, I'm just going to delete this um, as we go through the week. Uh, but this is a very, very critical hold level here, too. Again, very indeterminate trading because you can't really make a decision whether uh, today's trade is reflective of anything except just uh, a little bit of short covering. A lot of the move in the euro dollar today is a function of the euro yen because this yen is selling off. Euro yen is trying to rebalance itself. So um, part of the uh, bump in the euro in the euro dollar could be because of the uh, euro yen rebalancing. Here yen also here testing the 120 level, which is a pretty key level that I've been watching for a while. The key key level in euro yen is is the 118, but drop here back below 120s and and a move all the way to let's say 1950s does not bode well for the pair. It really suggests that we have further liquidation here and a possible test of the of the ultimate lows of, of the recent months, which was I think 1872. Yeah, basically 119. Uh, as as a move all the way to the downside, so um, yen cross is definitely under under uh, um, 
of salt as we start the week. Pound not doing anything. There's nothing going on. UK is closed. Uh, interesting thing about the pound, it is holding 52s here. So that is, um, for those who, are, who have a bullish cast, a mildly positive. Um, and a break above 5250s, a second break above 5250s could put, put us up um, into a challenge of 53. And ultimately, the really big challenge here, which was the breakdown level of 55. Uh, but I think we need to see that uh, for the next day or two in order in order to get convinced. I think it really the, the key level here is the 5259 is where we failed. We need to break through that 5259, take out the challenge of 53s to to continue this um, uh, this retrace uh, move that we've had over over the last several months um, off the lows. And lastly, Aussie is sort of consolidating around the 104s. Uh, weaker data out of uh, China definitely hurt the Aussie a little bit in the morning today, but the real support in the Aussie is this 103.50 level. What's interesting though is that we clearly failed 105. This has been a uh, sell-off since the 105s. The more interesting uh, question ahead is, uh, is this going to consolidate 104 and uh, come back up? In order to believe that this is going to consolidate and come back up, you really need to see Aussie trade back up to 104.50. If we see 104.50, there's a reasonable chance we can try it for a double top or a double test of the 105s. Until that, it's still a very much bearish bias in a distribution all the way to 103.50, which is where you really want to look at and to see how much support there is um, um, in the Aussie at that particular point. It's very indeterminate right now, but a move either 50 points here or 50 points to the downside is going to give us a much clearer action of whether this is a ultimate top or just simply a retrace within a longer uptrend for the time being. Not much action because obviously Australia is off the uh, charts again today, so not going to not going to be a lot of development. The big story back to the day today is going to be this: what's going to happen in North American session? We're going to hold the, uh, the lows. Are we going to try to retrace back up uh, to the highs, or are we going to get further downside pressure? And that will be very interesting because a break here in relatively thin uh, markets could really very quickly very quickly dissipate to 92s and possibly even 9250s within a day or two. Ultimate, um, uh, of course, target here for the shorts is going to be this um, 91 level, which was the big, big level of the distribution. And that could be the possible level as the week progresses. So that's how the week is starting to shape up. Still very thin trading as uh, Easter holiday winds out in Europe. Um, and we'll be back tomorrow with a full day of trading. This is Boris Schlossberg for BK Forks over and out.